Hi, in this video we are going to see the PhD admission notification from one of the National Institute of Technology guys and really it will be a very good news to the candidates who are looking for the PhD admission in the NIT colleges why because with only post graduation if you once selected here for the full time PhD then you are going to get 31,000 rupees per month as a fellowship guys. Even though if you don't have the UGC net or the gate qualifications are not there then no problem. So without having any type of national eligibility test qualifications and with only post graduation you will get 31,000 rupees per month as a fellowship so which will be very much helpful to you as a financial assistance guys. So please share this video to your friends or colleagues who are looking for such type of notifications it will be very much helpful to them and to get the more notifications like this please subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon and watch this video until the end to get the complete details regarding this notification. Before going into the main content of this video, here one small announcement is that the candidates who are preparing for the UGC net exam, the An Academy is providing the complete course on paper 1 that is the teaching and research aptitude. Okay, so this course started on the 9th June onwards guys. All the interested candidates may take the subscription plan. The link I kept in the description box of this video and the details I kept at the end of this video. And now while coming to the present content of the video, so it is the National Institute of Technology Puducherry. Karaikal. So from this one here we got the PhD admission notification for the July um, in 2021 to 22 July session. So here the information brochure as well as application form is there and the last date of uploading the application form is 21st June 2021. So here I am just going to the information brochure guys to get the complete details regarding this uh, notification and in this information brochure we will see what is the and what are the different departments and what are the different PhD admission criteria and what is the eligibility criteria and how much fellowship you are going to get and to whom candidates the fellowships are going to get all these details we will see guys. So coming to the first one here the engineering as well as uh, the humanities uh, departments okay, covered here. So the departments are civil computer science electrical and electronics electronics and communication mechanical chemistry physics mathematics as well as the physical education fine. So these are the departments guys. So if you belongs to these departments then uh, you may apply for this one even though if you are having the post graduation okay, we will see the eligibility conditions guys. So admission criteria are first one is a full time. So regular full time scholars with institute fellowship or the JRF and the institute fellowship will be limited and shall be available on the merit basis. And coming to the sponsored candidates they are going to get uh, fellowship amount from the from their working organization and the sponsored from industries and uh, self-financed and as well as institute project staff okay so total these are the uh, different uh, PhD admission criteria guys and here the part-time on campus as well as part-time external okay and while coming to the eligibility criteria PhD in engineering candidates with master's degree in engineering or technology or a master's degree by research in engineering or technology disciplines with minimum 60 percentage of aggregate marks uh, or else CGP of 6.5 by 10 in UG or the PG admission under OC OBC category and 55 percentage of aggregate marks are equivalent for the SC and ST. Okay? That means the 5 percentage in marks the relaxation is provided to the SC, SC, SC and ST candidates. And coming to the or else mean one more qualification is also there. So candidates with uh, bachelor's degree in engineering technology that means if you are having the direct uh, mean uh, only graduation then you must have the valid GATE score with minimum of 90 percentage aggregate marks must be there. Okay. And while coming to the PhD in mathematics or physics or chemistry or physical education, candidate must have the master's degree with first class in bachelor's or master's degree in mathematics, physics, chemistry, physical education in the relevant discipline with 60 percentage of aggregate marks in UG or else in PG. Okay. And 5 percentage of marks relaxation is provided to the SC or ST candidates and a valid UGC CSI or net or gate score is mandatory for the institute fellowship fine. So if you are applying under the uh, humanities department that means mathematics, physics, chemistry and physical education then if you want to get the institute fellowship then definitely a proper uh, UGC or CSI or net or gate score must be there and here the thing is that even though if you qualified for the UGC net assistant professor only then you may apply you, you may eligible for the institute fellowship guys okay but it is a case only for the uh, these departments but while coming to the engineering uh, department uh, only post graduation with uh, enough percentage is uh, enough guys okay no need of uh, UGC net or the gate qualification is not asked there 
and coming to the departments as well as the research areas you may check down computer science and engineering electricals and electronics and communication electronics and communication mechanical engineering mathematics chemistry and the physics so uh, if you be, if mean if you are in this research area it will be very good uh, added advantage to you guys okay and coming to the selection procedure candidates are required to submit the research proposal along with the application and the shortlisted candidates will be screened by written test as well as the interview by the departmental selection committee and the list of candidates recommended by the departmental selection committee is sent to the director for approval and coming to the admission procedure selected candidates will be offered to enroll the phd program by sub payment of the prescribed fee and the candidate should also remit fees in fee every semester as prescribed by institution failing which registration registration will be cancelled and the payment of fee also mentioned here so you may check down uh, one time fee at the time of admission 4450 rupees and seminar or thesis submission fee extra coming to the semester fee 11900 rupees that means one semester approximately 12000 rupees okay it will be the very good uh, guys because so many private universities are taking per semester 30000 40000 they are taking but this nit is uh, semester fee they are just taking nearly 12000 rupees so oh, we can say that it is very less amount of fee guys and hostel fee if you want hostel then you, the hostel fee is also mentioned okay so you may check down guys so as per your requirement you may proceed <clears throat> and coming to the financial assistance uh, here the college is not assuring that all the full time uh, uh, phd scholars will get the financial assistance okay limited number of research fellowships is available uh, who are not getting any type of financial support or else a scholarship from the private organizations or else from the government organizations that means who did not get any type of financial assistance for those candidates only the financial assistance will be provided by this nit college fine and amount of fellowship is also provided but the thing is that you have to work at least eight hours per week to assist the department in the academic work okay then you are going to get the fellowship in the engineering 31000 rupees per month and in the science or humanities 31000 rupees per month you will get and however the candidates who are having the jrf qualification then they are going to get the fellowships from their corresponding organizations and the reservation chart is given here uh, for full time scholars with institute fellowship that means total 16 institute fellowships they uh, this college is going to provide so open category 8 obc4 sc2 st1 and ews1 that's it and how to apply means you have to apply through the official website guys okay online application form you have to fill up and a non refundable fee of 1000 rupees and 500 rupees for the sc st and ph has to be paid through sba collect which is to be mentioned in the application form and the filled up application form along with self attested photocopies of mark sheets degree certificates community certificates and necessary enclosures should be uploaded to the below link on or before 21st june 2021 you need not to send any type of hard copy okay and the link for application form is given here so yeah we are directing to the application form guys you may check down application form for phd submission few important instructions as well as whatever the documents you have to upload so okay all these documents are given here so you please once check out these things guys and coming back to the notification so anyhow uh, I, I i covered all the main important uh, points guys okay so i will provide this uh, link also in the description box of this video so you please check down and to get the more notifications like this please subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon so give me one like to this video and don't forget to share this video to your friends or colleagues guys it will be very much helpful to them and the candidates who are preparing for the UG Senate exam here one announcement follows so listen guys hi myself i am ashwini kumar an academy educator of electronic science as well as the general paper one and all of you know that an academy is uh, india's largest uh, learning platform and the candidates who are preparing for the UGC net, okay, NTA UGC net, here the UN Academy is providing the multiple courses for the candidates who are preparing for the NTA UGC net. So here I am going to show you the list. Actually, the University Grants Commission is conducting every year twice the National Eligibility Test Exam for the 81 subjects. So out of the 81 subjects here, the for few subjects. An academy is providing the complete course including the free online classes also guys so here i will give you the complete details regarding that one so first of all we will see what are the different subjects are providing by the an academy for the nta ugc net means 
commerce and general paper on teaching management computer science and application political science history economics practice and strategy uh, sociology labor welfare uh, english language and education geography law hindi psychology public administration electronic science environmental science home science and uh, philosophy uh, tourism admin and management mass communication and journalism uh, sanskrit punjabi and anthropology so these are the different subjects where the academy is providing the courses guys okay and from each and every course you will get the free online classes as well as the paid courses also you will get so i will show you how to access here the few top educators are there guys okay which are going to give you the wonderful knowledge okay and you can download the class pdfs also okay regarding the different different subjects okay which will be very much helpful to you to crack the uh, ugc net jrf guys and coming to my profile okay so myself i am ashwini kumar as i already told you educator of electronic science as well as a general paper 1 so it is my profile link okay so whatever the subject you belongs to just click on that one and then you will be directed to that particular subject educator's profile link and if you scroll down you will get the special classes okay the special classes are completely free guys that anybody can able to access this one and just click on the see all whatever the free classes or the special classes i did up to now okay you can able to access all the special classes so actually here i did the special classes on the I mean free classes on the general paper 1 as well as the electronic science previous year questions okay that you may check down here one by one and uh, whatever the uh, interesting or else whatever your needed topic is there okay, just click on that one and then you will be directed to the uh, video guys so you will get like this and if you click on this watch now then you will be directed to the online classes okay you but before that one you have to create your account by providing the mail uh, id as well as your contact number fine so to watch to watch the special classes it is completely free you need not to pay any amount uh, guys and if you want to get the complete course as per the ugc syllabus and each and everything okay which are helpful to crack your jrf nothing but a paid courses so here the two different types of subscriptions are there one is a plus subscription and second one is a iconic subscription and you may check down the difference here in the plus subscriptions you will get the I mean, almost you will get the india's best best educators are there in the academy okay you will be provided with doubt clarifying sessions also interactive live classes and you can download the pdfs and the live test and the quizzes and coming to the iconic subscription interactive live classes pdfs and the live test and quizzes just as like the plus apart from this one you will get the personal coach and personalized doubt solving and preparatory study material sfp and the interview preparation okay so all these things you will get additional in the iconic subscription okay so while coming to the plus subscriptions okay we will see the different plans here you you may check down guys the different plans for one month 2900 and for three months 2823 and for six months Okay, uh, I mean you, you, these are the charge per one month, and if you want to get the six month subscription plan, you have to pay eleven thousand two fifty, and for twelve months thirteen thousand seven fifty, and for twenty four months twenty thousand. Okay, so depending upon your requirement, you may take any one of the subscription plan here. Okay, if you want the three months, or else if you want the six months, or else if you want the twelve months. Okay, so based upon when you are planning to write the exam. Okay, so based upon that one, you may take any one of the subscription plans here. and out of this different subscription plans you will get some discount also so it is my referral code aswynik so use my referral code and then click on the apply and then proceed to pay then you will get the 10% discount on any one of these subscription uh, plans okay so the subscription link as well as my profile link both these two i will uh, put in the description box of this video guys you may check down and apart from this one the electronic science new batch course is already started from 12th may onwards so all the interested candidates may take the subscription plan and this course runs up to 3 months guys that means from may 12th to august 12th so the complete ugc net electronic science syllabus will be discussed here in detail by keeping in mind the previous year uh, nta ugc net question papers also which will be very much helpful for you to crack the ugc net jrf okay so already the previous batches okay so many candidates cracked the jrf and few candidates are getting the admission into the in mean, phd admission in the iit also 
so you may check down my dedications in my profile link so it is my profile link and if you click on here the dedications okay uh, you may check down so all the students are very nicely satisfied okay regarding the teaching as well as their preparation fine so you may check down here guys so by looking all these things and by looking at the special classes that means which are free that you may check down okay how the class are going on and how the live interaction will be okay so based upon all these things you may decide and please take the subscription plan guys which will be very much helpful to you to crack the UGSNet JRF. Fine.